Hello, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge. Today we are taking on a book review um, to be followed by a few spoilers at the end of West by Edith Pateau. This is the sequel to my most favorite book ever written, which is East by Edith Pateau. So um, before we dive into this, if you like book reviews, wrap ups, book hauls, book unhauls, I make new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please go ahead and um, hit that subscription button followed by the bell if you want to get notified whenever I upload. So let us jump into this review. Um, I'm going to tell you three things that I didn't like about this book followed by three things I did like so that we can have I was going to say end on good things, but then I'm going to go into some spoilers um, after I've told you three things I didn't like and three things that I did like. Anyway, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I love East. It is my favorite book of all time. Rose is one of my favorite main characters of all time. I um, made a retro review of East as the second video I ever made on my channel. I will link down below. Um, it has full spoilers and a breakdown of East um, and reasons why you should read it. Also, when I made that video, I had just found out that this book was being made <laughs> and I was excited and hesitant for it because since East is my favorite book, I was really nervous what would happen with West. So let me tell you three things that I didn't like about this book. Um, I'm keeping it non-spoilery. I'm being kind of vague. Um, and I'll do the same with the things that I liked. But since this is a sequel, um, it isn't a standalone at all. Um, because they very heavily reference things that happen in the first book. So um, three things that I didn't like about this book is that it rewrites the history at the end of East. So East has a little epilogue telling you what happens with your beloved characters, um, their happily ever after, and what happened over the next, you know, decades of their lives. It's just a quick little epilogue where everybody has a happy ending. And I love that part of the book. Like it was the completion of a fairy tale. It was so exciting. This book takes place only three years after the events of East. Um, so it interrupts that happy ending that I love so much and changes things. And I didn't like that. Uh, yes. So then my second reason I didn't like it, sorry, I like made notes about this, but they're messy because I was feeling feelings when I made them. The second thing I didn't like so much about this is that the first book, East, is based off of the Norwegian fairy tale, East of the Sun and West of the Moon. Um, and so it it follows kind of the tale of that story about this girl who um, is staying with a white bear and then finds out he's actually a prince. And when he gets taken by the troll queen, she rides on the backs of the um, north, south, east, and west winds to be able to find him. And that was really cleverly redone in this story, in the story of East. And so for me in this one, there was a few different forms of mythology in it. There was some Greek mythology built in there um, and a few other things that maybe I just didn't notice because I'm not familiar with those um, types of uh, history or fairy tales or anything. But for me, because this wasn't following anything, in fact, it is like making up its own story, whereas like East was kind of, you know, it was a retelling, so it was following something. I just really didn't like that because I felt like it had no direction. And I'll go more into that and into the spoilers, um, but it was just something I didn't personally enjoy. And then the third thing that was the biggest issue for me in this is that again, Rose is one of my favorite main characters ever and she learns some really important lessons. She's very brave, she's fierce, she's intelligent and I love those things about her. And she is all of those things in this, but she also is just written differently. And I'm sure this has to do with the fact that this book was written a decade after the original 
And so, you know, the author probably hadn't been in Rose's headspace in a long time. And that's understandable. Like it, it's, they're her characters. And, but there's something when you write a story and send it off into the universe, you give those characters over to the people who love them. And for you to reach in and mess your hands around with it and then not make them the same characters they were before. And not even just that they're growing because yeah, people change. Like it's okay for Rose to evolve and grow up and she is three years older than she was and she's a wife and she's a mother and those things are important. But she wasn't written the same. And so it felt like an echo of a character you love, but not the same. And so even though I was still rooting for her and Charles and their family, I didn't feel connected to them. So I felt very disconnected when I was reading some of my favorite characters and it was really hard. So, okay, let's get into some things I liked before I get into the spoilers, because there are some good things about this book. And if you're not as attached as I am, if you're not ingrained in the East and you're not as in love with these people as me, I think you will still like this. And I think that if you were these days to read East and then immediately read West. It would be a fun sequel for you. So let's talk about a few of those things. Um, number one, they add some new characters. And there's some characters from the other, from East that now have a point of view. Um, where previously we had um, Nettie, Rose, the White Bear, the Troll Queen, and um, I, I think that was it. I think there were five of them. Um, now we add mother's point of view, which is Eugenia, and we add the point of view of Estelle, who I won't, like, if you read the original, you know who Estelle is, and so it's really cool that she is around. Um, there's also some other characters that we don't get a point of view from them, but they are new to the story, um, and they were really fun. So that's one of the things that East did have that I loved about East is all the different people you'd meet on Rose's journey and you'd spend only a little bit of time with them, but you'd really care about them. And that also happens in this one. So that was fun. Um, so yeah, so that rolls into number two. There's lots of traveling and they travel to um, all these new places that we didn't get to go in the first one. And um, you meet new people along the way and the locations are always really beautifully written and it's really exciting. So that was fun. And number three, Rose is still fierce and she's still brave. So even though for me, I felt that she was written differently and I didn't connect with her the same way, it's not like she's completely changed and now she's a wilting violet and, and nothing. Like she still propels all of the action in the story. Like it's always her or like a gut feeling tells her to go this way or she needs to use her talents to do this, to save this or do whatever. And so in that case, like, there's still those in there. I just didn't feel connected to her in the way I did in East. And for me, that was why I loved East so much. So um, my rating for this was very hard to decide. Um, my heart wanted to give it like two stars. Like when I was done, I was just like, I'm done with this. This breaks my heart. It is like ruined everything I loved, but I'm calming down a little and as a story and as a sequel, I have settled on 3.5 stars um, just because I feel that it's still worth your time if you read East, um, but I just want to set your right expectations for it and then, of course, give my opinion because that's what I'm here for. I'm not here to just judge how well written a book is. I'm here to judge what it made me feel, and so I can't give it more than a 3.5, but I don't want to trash it because... I do love the world this author created and it was cool to spend some more time there. Even if it felt, it felt like you were, I was reading it or like experiencing it through like a fog. So I knew it was the people that I loved, but I just couldn't see them clearly. And that was really hard for me. So this book, it was beautiful. And all my friends who've read East, I know they're going to want to read West. And so I don't want to break their hearts and you should read it, and then we can talk about it. Um, but now I'm going to go into the spoilers, now that I've told you what my rating is. Here's the little spoiler warning. I'm going to dive in, and now I'm going to get a little bit angry. So here we go. Three, two, one. The Troll Queen is still alive. What the... Are you kidding me? I cannot tell you how angry I am that she 
was again the antagonist of this story. I cannot fully express without just chaos how upset I am that she did not die at the end of that book. It makes me so angry. And that is what I said when I'm saying they rewrite history because she died, okay? Rose did what she did at the end of East. It blew up the castle and everyone died, including their friend who Charles and Rose both loved. He died in trying to save them and they escaped with only a few of the humans who were there. And they made it back. And to tell me that the queen lived and she just has a nice little scar on her face like some cheesy Marvel villain who who made it through to the next movie and like to do that just felt so cheap. I felt so cheated when I came across the sentence that said she's still alive. Like because when you're reading into the story when Charles disappears and when um, her son gets taken, you assume that maybe it is some other trolls who are trying to get revenge. And that could have been an interesting story. Like I was in it. I was like, okay, so some trolls who weren't at the wedding heard what happened to their queen and they're furious. And so they're trying to get revenge on Rose and Charles. Okay, I can deal with that. But to tell me that the queen lived No, I'm so, I'm sorry. No, I I won't forgive this book for that for for diminishing what happened in East by just having her be alive. Like, but no, I'm just not over it. And not only she lived, but Erda lived as well, who's Tuki's mother, and she's the one who saved her. And then, oh, it just makes no sense, guys. I just. I can't. That That is where my hatred for this book lies. <laughs> yes, I feel like I hate it. I feel like I hate it. It hurts so much. Um, let's move on. The next thing that was frustrating for me, and again, this has to do with changing what happened in the happy ending. So originally when I heard about this story, I thought it was taking place like 10 years afterwards. Um, and when I found out it was only three years later, it made a little bit of sense because this is still, she was still trying to make this a YA story. So I understand like not wanting Rose to be like 27 all of a sudden, like that makes sense. Um, but at the end of East, it very clearly says that her and Charles had four children together. They continued. She could get him to travel with her sometimes, but mostly she, you know, settled down a little bit and became a mom and they lived happily ever after, you know, cool. But for this to take place three years later, they only have one kid now. And Charles also likes to travel a lot. Like, I just feel like that's exactly the, so he's traveling around being a musician in different events, which is kind of cool. Like, that's cool. But that like Rose travels and takes their, their young son with her wherever she goes. It just, mm. and then for him to be taken by the troll queen and the troll queen removes his memory. So he can't remember anything that happened. He thinks he's still a boy because that's the last time he was human, like before this, when he was eight years old, he was stolen by the troll queen and she wipes out his entire memory. So he wakes up in this body of a man and doesn't know how he got there. And the troll queen hides him away in his castle, leaving him there for Rose to find because she knows Rose will find him and then be heartbroken that he can't remember her and she's hoping to break them up this way. And so then Rose, trying to spare him the fact that he can't remember her, she goes by her name, which is Niam. That's the name her father called her because she was a North child. Anyway, whatever. If you've read East, you'll know that part. So she says that Charles lost his son and she's a good friend of his who's going to help him find their son. And, but she doesn't say who she is. And so she, Rose just has to be tortured with being next to her husband. But one, he thinks he's a boy still, which is kind of weird. And two, he has no idea who she is, thinks he's still the Prince of France and is frightened and scared and starts having memories of being a white bear, but not knowing what happened. And I just, no, no. 
And that is doubled by the fact that later on in the story, he gets turned back into a white bear. And she makes it all cute at the end. Um, you know, she wraps it up and, and Rose has this epiphany of the first time I fell in love with him, he was a white bear. And now we fall in love again when I'm a human because he falls back in love with her without knowing that he knows her and then asks her to marry him all over again and blah, 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 whatever. That was cute. It was fine. But I will not get over it. And so the third thing I wrote is just, I'm so frustrated. And that's how I felt. And I'll disclaimer this at the end with a few things. And then I'm going to go because this is a rant about it. I'm not going to label it that way because if people watch this far, whatever. But I know the author can do whatever she wants. And I hope that some people who weren't as passionately in love with East as I am can enjoy West as a nice little second tale. Um, that is okay with me. Like that is that is great. I want people to get enjoyment. If it pushes more people to read East because West came out, I'm so happy with that because nothing, I will not let this tarnish how I feel about East. It will not. East is my favorite novel. I just sent it to a friend because I wanted her to read it so much. I bought her a copy of it and was like, here, here it is. Read it. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, so she can do whatever she wants. Like this isn't against the author. I never rant against an author because they can tell whatever story they want. But I'm in control about how I feel about it. And my feelings are I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed that I've invested so many years in this character and she means so much to me. And then to just wipe away everything that happened so you can tell another story and bank off of that. I just, but anyway, she's allowed to do whatever she wants. And number two, most people just won't get it, and that's okay. But you're at this channel because the book refuge is a safe place to talk about books, and so I have to buy into that myself and feel safe sharing about something that just like broke my heart. It broke my heart, guys, and I like I can't lie about that, and and like. And I'm not judging other people who are giving this five out of five stars. I'm not because I've seen it on Goodreads already. But I have yet to see a review on there of someone who like loved it as much as me. And I'm sure there are. Again, whatever. I don't need to excuse myself. This is my channel and this is what I feel. And you come here because you want to know my opinions. I don't know why. I'm so thankful to you for wanting to know my opinions. Like it floors me every day, the kind messages and good words I get. But... I refuse to like back off of what my feelings are worried that people won't like them you know not that I'm worried about it so anyway I have to go now um, this was a review for West by Edith Patel I still stand by the 3.5 stars even though my heart is really sad <laughs> I I hope it pushes more people to read East. Again, I link down below my review of East where you'll see me be so happy. As sad and heartbroken as I am in this book, I'm so happy talking about East. It will always be in my top favorite books, if not the favorite. And Rose is a beautiful, wonderful character. And you should definitely pick up this book. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for coming to this review. Sorry if it wasn't what you were expecting, but... I'm, I keep it real here, guys. We keep it real. There wasn't a lot of joking around in this one either. This is kind of heavy. So if you want to check out some more fun videos where we can laugh together and enjoy things, make sure you check out um, my channel down below. And I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day, everyone.